Good morning. Today we can discuss Central Bureau of Investigation that is CBI. We already heard this term several times CBI. CBI set up in 1963. What is the full form of CBI? Central Bureau of Investigation. It is set up in 1963 by Ministry of Human Affairs. Ministry of Human Affairs simply we can call as MHA. Then later it was transformed to Ministry of Personnel and now enjoy the status of an attached office. CBI is the main investigatory agency of Central Government. CBI is the main investigatory agency of central government it also provides help assistance to cvc cbi has following division anti corruption division to check corruption in the government then economic office division special crime division policy and international police cooperation division administrative division directorate of prosecute central forensic science laboratory forensic science laboratory mainly used to take proof of the dead body this is the emblem of our cpi their goal is industry impartiality and integrity cbi is headed by a director that director should be a ips officer then up he this director is appointed for 2 years he is assisted by special director or an addition additional director for the support of director one additional director or special director also working with him it has number of joint directors like deputy inspector general superintendent of police then major functions of the cbi are investigating cases of corruption and the misconduct of central government employees mainly it is working to investigate central government functions then investigating case relating to fiscal and economic laws fiscal means government expenditure so they are investigating case related to government expenditure and economic losses investigating case having public importance then act as a national central bureau of india cbi is our national central bureau then next statutory body is nhrc national human rights commission it is a statutory body it was established in 1993 under legislation enacted by the parliament as protection of human rights act 1993 to protect human rights government declared an act 1993 for this purpose and nhrc also set up in 1993 its headquarters in delhi the commission is the watchdog of human rights in india that is the right relating to life our liberty freedom equality and dignity of individual status of each individual each individual have their own status so if we have any problem we can approach nhrc the commission consists of a chairman and four full time and four ex officio member one chairman four full time members and four ex officio members the chairman should be a retired chief justice of india 
chairman should be retired person from the chief justice of india then a member has been a judge in supreme court one member one member has been a judge of supreme court one member has been chief justice of high court two members should have practical knowledge relating to human rights then ex officio members are the chairman for ex officio member one is chairman of national commission for minority second member is national commission for sc third national commission for st fourth commission for women chairman of these bodies are the ex officio members chairman and members are appointed by the president of india then what are the functions of the nhrc it inquire into violation of human rights if we have any problem if we feel any violation of our rights we can approach an nhrc then to visit jail and detention place to study the living condition of inmate and make recommendation there on they are visiting jail and other cells and make report about their living condition then to review the constitutional and other legal safeguard for protection of human rights recommended measures for their effective implementation actually they are working as a watchdog of our human rights if human beings face any problem they will take measures then to review factors including acts of terrorism that inhibit the employment of human rights and recommended remedial measures then to undertake promote research in the field of human rights they are conducting research in the field of human rights then to spread human rights literacy among people most of the people have no any knowledge about what are our fundamental rights so this nhrc conducting awareness campaign awareness classes to give literacy to make literacy among the people then to undertake necessary functions for promotion of human rights they are undertaking necessary function for the promotion of human rights then to encourage effect of non governmental organization then working in the field of human rights it has all power like civil court so these are this power like a civil court these are the major functions of the nhrc okay thank you